came home and put switches like, on my baby. It's like we got so many guns, we don't know what to talk. We have to Cause I'm about to mob this shit. Right. Alright guys, it is like day 69 of trying to fix this piece of shit. 97 LS400, hella fucking miles. We stopped at a tire shop. These things are gonna fucking blow. It slides great. It's got a bunch of suspension work done as well in the rear. Okay, lady boys and gentlemen, this has been long overdue, but we finally get into it. If you read the title of the video, you already know what the fuck going on. I have all the parts in the crib, transmissions over there. We're doing CD09, Collins kit, um, stage three clutch. We got everything. Big shout out to my boy, Taha. I already dropped the exhaust. Oh my god, my exhaust is chalked. And it's covered in tranny fluid, but that's okay. Uh, I do plan on raising the front up a bit more. But right now we're dropping the exhaust. Dropping the cats. Drive shaft. We're going to drop this differential as well. Because GS400 LSD, it has an LSD Super Diff 373. That's gonna go in here and that shit will eat a lot harder than a those 326 that's in here. But this 326 is going in that. We have a lot of work to do. But first things first, we gotta get the auto tranny out before we can even bolt up the manual train. But I think Taha's almost done with the cats and then we'll move on to the drive shaft and diff and things like that. All right guys, this guy Taha go fucking crazy. Trans is already out. And we will probably end off here. And then whenever he wants to come back, we will bolt up the kit, bolt up the trans, measure the drive shaft so we can order that and then we'll put everything else in the car. So we got a good amount to do, but main part is done, I guess. I would say we're like 30% done, a third, good third of the, of the way done. Something like that. Auto transfer sale needs a sale, 138K. He says he thinks this is a different torque converter. Might be replaced. Wet. Can't wait to hit a million rollbacks in this car. A million. All right, guys. Let me show you everything I got. This is the Collins kit box. I already, already opened it. This shit was like three grand alone. So we have the Collins kit. It comes with flywheel clutch, um, cross member, clutch line, slave cylinder, uh, and then of course the adapter. So I have the U1 bell housing. So this is, I believe, gonna be sandwiched in between my old bell housing and the new transmission. So Taha's down there swapping the differentials on them. And he says he's probably gonna bolt up the tranny, cut the tranny and bolt it up. So I will bring this downstairs for him. And then I also have, uh, this is all from Heat Lightning. I have, what's this? I wanna say this is, the e-brake bracket so this is gonna change my delete my foot e-brake and convert it to the sc300 handbrake and then in this box i haven't opened it but that one is the clutch pedal and the reservoir so i have basically everything um this is the drive shaft adapter so when it's all put together the transmission is in there we're gonna measure the length and then we're gonna order a custom one piece drive shaft um i want to do that as soon as possible because he says it's going to take anywhere from two to five days to get the drive shaft so i'd like to bolt up the tranny so we can measure how long the drive shaft is order it and then put everything else back together that's pretty much it so if you're curious on how much everything is costing me 
I spent around five ish K on parts. I'm gonna pay Taha 1600 for labor, and then I'm gonna spend five, 600 on a drive shaft. And also you need the AT move for the ECU so it doesn't go into limp mode. And that should keep all the transmission codes from coming on. So in theory, it will be six speed swapped with no check engine light. So it'll still pass a smog. All right, guys, here is the welded LS400 diff. And here is the 373 Super LSD. We're gonna reseal both and then throw him in here. And apparently, Everything was loose on this one, so threadlock. We got Taha right here, cutting the CD. Good safety glasses. What's up, dude? What's up? I just blew the oil pump on that. Lost all oil pressure. What? I think. It seems I, to be driving though. It seems fine though. I think it's, I think it's fine. Hopefully. So, to do the CD, you have to cut this whole piece of the bell housing off. And then you'll bolt up the adapter piece and then you'll bolt up the U1, U1 bell. bell housing to it so it'll bolt up to the car. And I mean that makes it somewhat smaller. I'm surprised you moved this big ass thing by yourself. But um Yeah. And they're almost uh almost done cutting. Awesome. I Looks was like looking it. at the uh thing for clearing thing and uh, I was torching and shit and that hammer that I have isn't doing much damage, so we might have to go pick up a bottle jack or something and then just return it out. There's probably one in that truck, if anything. Okay, perfect. Yeah. But yeah, I just broke it. You wanna do the oil pump on it? No, not really. I Come mean, on, dude. No. <laughs> Dodge, bro. I don't know. Come on, man. I'll look up the all data. The all data works. <laughs> not the all data. <laughs> Nice clean cut. So they say to like basically right here you want to cut it, but we can grind it down a little too. Yeah. Worse. Sick. Yeah, like right here we're gonna grind it down a little bit. I was worried about this, but I'm glad I didn't even. I barely nicked it. It's fine. This comes off anyway. Yeah, right. That's where we bolt the. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a lot fucking smaller without that. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But it's gonna get even bigger, right? Mm -hmm. With the other yeah, bell housing. The other bell housing's bigger than that. And the adapter on top of that. Mm hmm. I'm gonna clean it off though, make sure we don't get any shavings on the lines. And lines. How's the trendy feel? It's transmission is transmissioning. That's good. Um, I need to know these torque specs is the only thing. So then we can put the other one on. I brought my torque wrench. Still have the Loctite. Cool. We'll just go from right here. Bolt it on. Oh, let me get the other keys. To what? Because the adapter's in the GS. It, it's unlocked. Oh, it is? Good CD. Good 6 speed LS400. Yep, yep. Uh, damn, near, I'll just start grinding a little bit now. Driveway built. Always. Everything driveway built. Driveway built. guys so this is basically how it works you cut the cd here add in the sandwich plate and then you take your old u1 bell housing and put that on her and that thing is a big chungus well, it's not too big oh go dolce <laughs> pretty average So now what? Um, I just kind of wanted to mock. I'm gonna take off the uh, bell housing, torques all of these so that they're nice and even. I got a torque wrench. 
and um, put back on bell housing and then widen the trans tunnel a little more and fit it up. Flywheel clutch. Yeah, well, that's like after it's the we same get thing, right? Measurements, yeah. Nice. Pilot thing. I need the diff adapter. Okay, I'll go get it. Because we need to measure from the end of that to the front of the diff adapter, and that's going to be our drive shaft. Today. You got uh, measuring tape? Uh, I should, yeah. All right, I'll go get the thing. All right, guys. So also, Taha says you have to cut this piece off because it don't fit. Um, right now, we're going to try and bolt up the transmission. Got the slave cylinder in there and first line in there. Right now, we're going to try and bolt it up because kind of on a time crunch. I told Taha I want it done by the end of the week. And he basically told me to go fuck myself. So <laughs> we're going to bolt it up right now, hopefully. Hopefully, he beat the shit out the trans tunnel enough. He thinks he did. I haven't looked personally, but I got faith in him. And um, if it does bolt up, we can finally measure the length of the drive shaft and order that. It's a little late now, but we could order it tomorrow type shit. And hopefully they finish it by like Friday, Saturday, because by then we'll have basically everything else done and we'll just be waiting on the drive shaft. Even through the cross member in there, so that's nice. Should be gravy. All right. What's going on, guys? It's another day. We're back here fucking with the Lexus. Um, it's hotter than a stripper's asshole outside. This guy Taha's in fucking full clothing. Beating my trans tunnel. Yeah, you heard me. He's beating a tranny. Not an okay to thing to do in uh this year but by the way this is a real plate i know pretty people are probably looking at that like i just ordered that shit or something that's a real plate i waited nine months for it to come so if you thought about going to get a custom plate that says that <laughs> you're shit out of luck you're shit out of luck but um Yesterday we mocked up the transmission and we almost had it all the way in. Uh, I think we were able to get like two bell housing bolts in. The motor needed to be like tilted back. I brought my jack. Oh, nice. But um, we didn't have another jack. But because I'm so fucking strong, I just popped the hood and pushed the motor with my hands. And, and, I, and it tilted enough for us to get it in. However, the trans tunnel was not... Um, cleared enough on the passenger side but the driver's side was so that's Taha banging on the trans tunnel and I guess when he's done we will bolt up flywheel clutch um, and the trans we already got the what is it the slave cylinder lines in there the slave cylinder in the trans he's literally beating my car with the hammer but you gotta do what you gotta do. We outside thugging with my rounds. I'm out of town. What's funny? You're funny. We got Dolce outside. Dolce. Dolce, uh, sometimes I'll walk away and he'll like get stuck through here. He'll have his head, his big ass head, sticking out of here. And then like, he makes funny noises. He makes like chicken noises. Stupid. But, um, Ah, fuck, bro. Why is it so hot? It's October 2nd. Why is it so hot? It's like, uh, it's fall, bro. Yeah, right? It's fall. And it's hot as I'm shit. I'm down to go swimming today later. I'm down to go swim in your booty. I mean... Fucking, um... I don't have my Prius. It's out of shop. Uh, I bought a new tow truck, it's at the shop, and really all I have is the Harley, the daily, I mean, it's, it is really hot, so, and I have a blown up LS, <sighs> excuse me, a blown up LS 400, so I gotta take you home on the Harley, oh 
Why you keep walking away from me? I don't want to be on the camera. Oh, she doesn't want to be on the camera. She doesn't want to be on YouTube to my five subscribers. Uh, I'm going to cut that little fucking... The stud? Yeah, the one we were talking about I showed you yesterday. Yeah. Taha's going to cut a stud. You like studs, huh? <laughs> we'll get back to you. All right, guys, the transmission is in. There's no clutch or flywheel, but we just need to measure the length to order the drive shaft. Go call them right now. And yeah, we'll measure the drive shaft real quick. Drop the trans back out so we can do clutch and flywheel. Apparently, you have to sand the flywheel a little bit or the crank or both we'll probably just do both so we don't have any issues but we're getting we're actually getting very close right now so trends will come out one last time after we measure for drive shaft and then we will clutch flywheel and then i think we're basically done for under the car until we get a shifter which is on the way and then the drive shaft which we're going to order right now all right guys check it out we got the flywheel installed the clutch is installed pressure plate looks pretty and the transmission will be going back up for the final time don't we need fluid or something for this the training yeah but that's after okay feel you can feel from the top um the car we i think i think i don't know but i know w series you can on this one we might just need a little fluid pump and Oh, okay. Be a fill hole somewhere on it. Yeah. Take off it the car's sitting pretty level right now, so once we install it, we can adjust the fill Cool. So it's all in. We're going to put the trans in for the last time. Uh, I'm still waiting on the shifter. We just ordered the drive shaft, but the trans does not need to come out to do the, the shifter. So we're really closing in. We're really closing in on this. Should tuck this harness. Oh, like keep it in the engine bay? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to throw all the transmission, automatic transmission stuff in the engine bay. After this, maybe we'll do the clutch pedal. And then we have the e-brake conversion kit as well. And Taha brought me an e-brake from a SC300 or 400. And then still have to pull this out of the center console. That has to go. Cause never going to use that shit again. And then, yeah, man, that's closing in. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are closing in on finishing this swap. So Trans is going to go in for the last time. He has to torque the pressure plate. Um, and then Trans goes up. Probably start on the clutch pedal and uh, the reservoir and then the yeah, right. e-brake e conversion because we need to take that this out this has to go out and then it's just going to be the sc300 handbrake and then after that i mean i want to say we're basically done run the clutch lines <clears throat> um and then we have to wire up the atemu but honestly that can wait yeah that's a lot yeah that's a lot so after this if we finish everything today We'll literally just be waiting for the drive shaft. Yeah. Literally. And and that's it. What did he say? Like early next week, huh? It's hoping a little sooner, but wanted to fast. wanted to drive the car this weekend, type shit. Start breaking in the clutch because I got, if you know, you gotta put 500 miles on a new clutch. So speedo will work, yeah. Yeah. Because it goes off the the rear, right? Yeah. yeah. So the speedo will work. So I'll set a trip as soon as I do that, and then. I just put slap in my Prius. I got a new tow truck. I just put slap in that. The truck's getting in alignment right now. I'm gonna show you guys the truck though. I, I think it's pretty nice. And when this is done, I will put some slap in this. I'm probably gonna go to a different shop though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I did not have a good experience with them. Normally I take all my cars to them and they always do a good job because I know the owner. But when I went there and talked about, you know, getting a Viper in my truck, uh, some subwoofers and like, uh, some subwoofers in the Prius um, it was the owner wasn't there and the dude there basically sold me some cheap ass shit 
and the amps kept going into protection mode so he changed both the amps the owner changed both the amps for free the truck sounds the truck sounds really good that shit is like that shit knocks this the prius is kind of mid but i mean it's only 112 but i still feel like it should hit harder um if anything i'm probably going to change that amp out myself i know i used to work at a slap shop i'm just lazy i mean i didn't even drop my own tranny and you guys know i have like a how-to transmission video on these cars i'm just i'm lazy supercharge one of them motherfuckers. yeah i supercharge one i'm just lazy but i mean i'm excited this this is gonna be one hell of a build and to think i bought this car in december and it was all crashed and everything it's definitely came a long way a very very long way some of y'all be like watch my watch the build give me one year and like you guys will like paint your wheels or something do some window tints <laughs> but nah, I, I mean i dropped a, a lot of money in this car i'm not gonna lie i have too much money into this car will i ever get that money back probably not but rollbacks i was driving the gs400 and like oh you could really feel a difference from that differential like it felt so much slower really? like i was sliding it and, and it went, you heard me i know you heard me sliding it it wouldn't even hit uh like rev limiter like just doing donuts but with this diff the one that we put in here bro i was like bouncing off rev limiter just doing donuts Making gear bouncing off the limiter. yeah so this shit's gonna this shit should feel pretty quick too it's gonna kind of suck not being able to like really get on it but i'm sure you'll feel that you still one of one for sure. yeah one of one type shit especially with the plate No, I I don't think I've ever seen anybody have a LSD in an LS400, period. I've seen GS, but like that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it came out of a came out of a GS. Really happy I we took that diff because I was almost going to sell the car like like that all as like as is, yeah. So I'm really happy we pulled that diff out. I got to take the car to him later today, but been running around doing errands. Um after we put the trans up, I'm going to go drop off oil and filter for the truck because they do oil change too so i told him i'd bring it by when i bring the truck he's like oh no this shit is too wide i'm like come on man he's like i'll try it but i mean it is alignment well he's doing the alignment oh, and then but he... since it's going to be in the air he's like you know oh. if it's still in the air he's like just bring the oil so okay, thanks. and i gotta go smog it and then go pay the tags and then ready to tow i'm gonna do like um low temp thermostat uh yeah. you know a little the works make it reliable all right i'm yapping <laughs>